Hey everybody out there, I'm Hoop Smiles, and in this video today, I'm gonna show you how to make masks out of socks. Now I wanna put out there, even though that these masks do cover your face, they are not N95 masks. Now in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make two different masks. So there's this method right here. Basically, I just use two rubber bands and two safety pins. Uh, this method is probably the least damaging to the sock, so if you're planning on wearing it again, then I would recommend doing this method right here. Now the other method that I'm gonna show you, basically you just need a sock and a pair of scissors, and uh, you'll cut some slits in the sock. Now the thing about this uh, sock mask is that it will damage the sock, so you likely will not be able to use it again on your foot, but uh, pretty much I can take this sock right here, looks like this, put it on my face like so. Now the first method I wanna show you involves just using a sock and a pair of scissors uh, and making cuts on the sock. Now the type of sock that I recommend that you use is a footy sock similar to this one. I don't recommend that you use uh, you know, too, too small of a sock because you still want that sock to be able to cover your nose and your mouth. So as you can see, I put these little black lines right here. Uh, that's where I would recommend that you uh, make your cuts on your sock. So I'm gonna go ahead and make those cuts. All right, so cut it just like that. All right, there it is. There's the sock with the cuts made. Now I will say it's not necessary to make these marks on your sock when you make the cuts, because as you can see, it left these little black marks. But I just wanted to add those marks to give you a reference point of where I recommend that you make your cuts. The next type of sock mask I wanna show you involves using uh, two rubber bands, or you can use uh, two hair ties, though I do uh, prefer using the rubber bands, and then also two safety pins. Also too, I do recommend using rubber bands that are about this size. I don't recommend using huge rubber bands and using rubber bands that are too small. Okay, step one, go ahead and take your rubber band, and you're basically going to put it on the side, one of the sides of the sock, just like that. And then what you're going to do is you're gonna get ready with a safety pin. Basically, you're going to fold that side over, just like that. And I'm gonna take this safety pin and I'm going to poke it through the sock. Be careful, because you don't wanna accidentally stab yourself with it. So poke it through the sock, just like that. And then I'm going to connect the other side of it there we go so the first one is in place and you know that you did a good job with the safety pin because the rubber band should be uh, inside the sock not able to come out and then you're going to basically take your other rubber band and you're going to put it on the other side of the sock like so basically do exactly what you did on the other side and i'm going to take that safety pin right here and now I'm gonna put it through the sock. Once again, be careful not to stab yourself. Putting it through the sock, just like so. And there you go. Now you have your, your mask. Now here's a tip to putting on your mask, which is uh, really important, whether you made uh, the sock mask using the rubber bands or you cut the slits in the sock. Uh, pretty much when you grab your mask, uh, you wanna grab it by the rubber bands or by the little loops on the end here, because the key is uh, you don't really want to touch uh, the center of the part because you you know you want to avoid contaminating it. So if you went and touched other things and then you let's say touch the part that's going to touch your mouth, then you know that's not going to be very helpful. Uh, you can grab it, let's say by the loops right here, and I can just put it over my nose and my face like so. And if my hands are clean and I can move my mask, then I can go ahead and kind of adjust it if necessary, which I didn't really feel like I needed to do that, just so that it goes all the way over my nose and then over my mouth. And I can also do this for the rubber band made sock mask as well, by just grabbing it by the rubber bands, putting it around my ears, and then once again, 
my hands are washed, I can go ahead and make that adjustment on my face to make sure it covers my entire uh, nose and mouth area. To be on the safe side, it's nice to use a wider sock that gives you a little bit more room to move up and down. So this sock right here, I can have it covering my nose and then it kind of goes down to the bottom part of my chin as well. The downside to using this sock right here is that as you can see, it's a little less wide than this big sock right here. Uh, so, you know, in terms of the range that it covers, it still covers my nose for the most part and my mouth, but it just doesn't go down as far or up as far. Also too, if for something, for some odd reason, I, you know, move my hand really fast, you know, is it possible having a smaller sock? Would it be more likely to just come off your face than a bigger sock? So those are some things that you might want to consider. Now, if you want to add an extra barrier to your sock mask, you can use a paper towel. So if you go ahead and fold your paper towel up like so, and then cut it out, uh, to fit the shape of your mask. You can put it on the side of the mask that's gonna make contact with your face. And basically you're just gonna put your face into it and then put it around your ears like so. And then make adjustments just like that. Another option you can do with a paper towel is you can go ahead and take your piece of paper towel and you can actually insert it straight into the sock. Now I already put a piece of paper towel inside this sock right here. Now a concern that I do have about putting paper towel into the sock, especially if you're gonna put multiple strips of paper towel into the sock, is that um, you know if it starts to get really thick and that side hole gets exposed, that is something that you might wanna be concerned about. I do recommend that you, when you do put your mask on, you wanna make sure that it fits snugly onto your face. You wanna avoid a loose mask where there's gaps between your, uh, by your nose or other gaps in the mask where it's loose. So there it is, there's my sock mask making tutorial. Let me know what you think about my sock mask and also what kind of mask are you gonna make? Do you have a certain type of sock that you're gonna use? Please go down to the comment section and let me know your thoughts and your opinions. What's great about this mask right here is that probably most people have a pair of socks. Also a lot of people probably also have scissors. So very, very easy thing to do. So thanks everybody out there for watching. Please stay safe out there and I wish you the best.